How you doing, Manchester? Yeah! Maybe I'll have three. The next act hoping to keep their place on the unsigned tour of Glaswegian Rockers' Hit Parade. Last week, they took a massive risk with their rendition of New Order's Blue Monday, but they blew the judges away. You had fun with it, you took it somewhere completely new, made it your own, you nailed it. I feel like I'm living the dream, playing in big massive venues all over the country, it's insane. Last year, if someone just got up and said to us, you're going to be playing with, like, Cortina's Beyond Telly, like, ah, I agree, I feel well. I really, really, really want to win it. I want to win it so much. To help Hit Parade along the way to winning the competition, this week they hooked up with their assigned mentors, Mark and Glenn, of the script. In just under a year, the script have had a number one album and a sellout tour. Scripts are great mentors in general because they've been there and done it and they've actually taken a long time to break through, so they know how to not take no for an answer. This week we're playing Kate Goes Dancing with the full band. We've already played it once in the acoustic round. Uh, it's the first time we've played it on tour. And hopefully they'll like it. Hit Parade played the script what they hoped could be a hit song. They're just really, really tight. I couldn't follow them playing wise. I would love to see more energy from you guys. Feel the music a little bit more because you jamming out to your own music means I'm going to jam out to your music because it's just infectious. That's how it works. It's nice to get a completely brand new outsider's opinion yeah. without them being judges and telling you you're out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great song, to be honest with you. I think I, I totally love you to come out on the road with us. Just play that for a crowd because I think yeah. in front of a real crowd, that would go down right. We played the barrel and... Uh, I think they, they, it's one of those venues, it's such a classic venue. I'd have been quite happy to have them on. So I'd happen. happily give up, like, anything else. That would be me totally satisfied if I got to play the bar lines. It's my get ultimate... Tell the grandkids. Ultimate all-time dream. And they get their phone numbers, so we just phone them and phone them and phone them. <laughs> Remember you said we play the bar as a fun year? So the scripts liked what they saw and have given Hit Parade a bag load of confidence to perform what they hope the judges will see as a future hit single. It's one of our more popular songs, one of all our friends and fans seem to like. Um, so, I'm pretty sure they'll like it. We've had really good comments, really good comments, really crap comments, really good comments. So, I want really good comments again, to be honest. And then that's four out of five. I ain't bad. I can't tell you anything about that, that the audience haven't already. That was fantastic. Um... Last week you took a big gamble and it paid off. This week is a return to kind of old-fashioned hit parade. Absolutely belting, total home run. Very, very good indeed, excellent. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, I think you're, you're great. I'm just like, can I go mental? But that's everything they're good at, you know, it's rocking, good tune. It was brilliant. I've seen hip parade banners and everything. <laughs> we like hip parade. We like hip parade. Yeah. Hip parade really know how they walk. Yeah, they're awesome, they're awesome. I think they should rename themselves Fit Parade, because they're getting, like, handsomer every week. They're gorgeous. And they sounded great, too. Easily the best band of the day for me. You emerged as frontrunners today and you'll very much remain on the tour.